The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens by Stephen Colby have taught me a lot. Not only has it made me realize things about myself, but it has taught me ways to improve myself to be a successful person in life. I found five habits to be extremely important in the success of oneself. In order to apply these habits to your life, you need to know what success means to you. Is it owning a million dollar company or simply raising a healthy, happy family? To me, success is reaching your expectations and beyond. It is setting your goals and reaching them. I truly believe that these five habits will help many people to achieve their definition of success. But of all these friends and lovers, there is no one compares with you. And these men... Habit 1 teaches us to be proactive as opposed to reactive. It tells us that only we are responsible for our own happiness in life. This is something I have tried to live by my whole life. I seldom act on impulse unless needed. I tend to always think before I act because I weigh my rewards and consequences. My parents have told me that I have always been mature for my age and always knew the consequences of my actions. I have learned very quickly that it pays off to be proactive in the workplace. At my job at Los Bandidos West, I don't want to be that person with a negative attitude. I come to work with a smile because when working with other people, a negative attitude can bring down the moods all around you, leaving the environment in an unfriendly state. I believe that setting goals is one of the key aspects in success. This is habit two. It says to begin with the end in mind. In other words, creating a picture of where you want to go in life and mapping out your goals. I have many goals and aspirations in my life, and I believe this habit will help me to achieve that the most. I never knew exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew the path I wanted to venture onto. I know that I want to inspire and help in some way, shape, or form. I want to leave something behind when I am gone. My parents have always told me that I'm going to do something important with my life. And yes, most parents say this, like they say, you can be the president one day if you wanted to. But I stand by this notion. In most professions, you are helping in some way, and I definitely want to be a large contributor to that. I believe habit three is definitely one of the most important habits because it teaches us to prioritize. This is something that is important in all professions. We want to have a plan and to put first things first and last things last. When I was younger, I tended to lean more towards being a procrastinator. But since I read about habit three, it taught me useful ways to prioritize my time and work. I believe the reason I was like this is because I wanted my work to be the best it could be. As odd as that sounds, I spent so much time second-guessing myself and thinking about what needed to be done rather than prioritizing my time. It taught me to plan weekly, which helped me a lot during school to get assignments in on time and to work in time to study. Habit 3 is also about overcoming fear and to step out of your comfort zone, which is another thing I find important to do to be successful. You must take a few risks and not stay locked inside your comfort zone because you will never accomplish all the things you want or can in life. Habit 4 taught me that I was a people pleaser, something I knew my entire life but never really came to terms with. Habit 4 is about thinking in a win-win situation, where both you and the person you are talking to come to a common compromise. I tended to think in a lose-win, where I wanted to help other people to the expense of my own self. And yet again, this habit taught me ways to also satisfy myself in a situation. I think while working at a job, you should try and think this way because it teaches us excellent compromising skills. It also teaches us that competing is healthy when it challenges you to reach to be your best, but not when you are doing it in spite of someone or something else, which ties into comparing yourself with someone else. I'm sure we have all seen the green-eyed monster jealousy before in our lives, and I know that I have, but I'm happy to be who I am and will not waste my time comparing myself to someone else. I found this novel to be extremely influential and helpful in my personal, educational, and professional life. 
I know my goals and I know how to achieve them. All that's left is the work and persistence required to accomplish these goals. As Maren Morrison says, most of us will never do great things, but we can do small things in a great way. <laughs>